के सी वेणुगोपाल जी प्रियंका तारिक अनवर जी के सुधाकरण जी वी डी सतीशन जी सादिक अली शिहाब तंगल जी पी कुलुकुट्टी जी रमेश चेनीथाला जी के मुरलीधरन जी एम एम हसन जी एन के प्रेमचंद्रन जी पद्मश्री चेरुवायल रमन जी कल्पटा नारायणन मास्टर जी केतपुरम दमोदर नंबूद्री जी जॉय मैथ्यू पी सुरेंद्रन जी ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स फ्रेंड्स आई लाइक टू वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस मीटिंग हियर टुडे आई लाइक टू विश ऑल ऑफ यू बिलेटेड ईस्टर एंड फॉर द कमिंग विशु एंड पेरूनल festivals four years ago i came here and became your member of parliament and for me the campaign was a completely different type of campaign in the regular campaign and i've done many many campaigns many speeches in the regular campaign you go and you speak about policies you speak about what should happen you tell people about your political ideas but this campaign in 2014 i remember when i came here it was much more as if i had come home to my family of course i don't belong to kerala but the enthusiasm and the affection and the manner in which you embraced me gave me the feeling that you are part of my family that i am your brother your son and i have thought quite a lot now i have been member of parliament for quite a few years and i have thought quite a lot what it means to be a member of parliament it means to be a people's representative to be a people's representative you have to understand the emotions of people you have to understand the suffering of people you have to understand the difficulties of people you have to have the humility to touch people to treat people as your equals sometimes to treat people as your superiors so a true representative of the people develops by attacking himself by giving up things that one desires by not fighting for what you want but fighting for what people want by becoming maybe one can say less arrogant and more humble a representative of the people also raises the issues of people without being scared of the consequences without being worried about what it means to raise the issues of the people the mp member of parliament is just a tag it's a it's a position it's a post so the bjp can take away the tag they can take away the position they can take away the house they can put me in jail but they cannot stop me from representing the people of wayna what does it mean to represent the people of wayna it means to fight for the things that are important to you there are practical things like the night road the buffer zone the medical college these are obvious things you can ask any child in wayna you can ask any person in why not they will tell you the three most important things but then there is also another thing that is important to the people of why not and that is the type of country and the type of state they live in the people of why not and the people of india want to live in a country which is free they want to live in a country where their child is allowed to learn and understand 
anything he chooses. A farmer who is not wealthy wants to live in a country where he can imagine his son being a successful engineer or a successful businessman. And no one in this country wants to live in a country where four or five people own the entire country. And that is what it means to be a representative of the people of Wayanad and a representative of the people of India. I have been fighting now the BJP for quite some years. And it surprises me that in so many years they have been unable to understand their opponent. They do not understand that their opponent will not get intimidated. It surprises me that they cannot see this. They think that by sending police to my house, I will get scared. They think by taking away my house, I will get disturbed. My sister didn't tell you. But I was actually happy that they took away my house. It's not interesting for me to live in that house. How many people in Wayanar lost their house? I saw hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of families lose their house in Wayanar. When the floods came here, the first thing I saw in Wayanar was how you responded to the floods. And I learned from you. Take my house, take it 50 times, I don't care. I will continue to raise the issues of the people of Wayanar and the people of India. You, the BJP, divide people. You make people fight. You threaten people. You abuse as much as you want. I will keep uniting people. I will keep respecting every single community, every single religion, every single idea. You be as nasty as you want. Be as evil as you want. I will continue to be as kind as I can. Even to you. Because this is a fight of two visions of India. You represent one vision of India. BJP, BJP represents one vision of India. And we represent another vision of India. And we are not scared of your intimidation, your aggression, your nastiness. In fact, we find it quite amusing. And I will continue to represent the people of Vayanar. Whether it is the night road, whether it is the medical college, whether it is the buffer zone, doesn't matter if I'm not an MP, I will make sure that these things happen in Vayanar. Don't think that just because I'm not your MP and they've disqualified me, my relationship with you is going to change. And I'm not saying for two, three years, my entire life, my relationship is not going to change with you now. Let them, let them take away whatever they want. Let them put me in jail. I don't care. My relationship with the people of Wayanad is going to stay the same. After all, what did I do? What did I do? I went to parliament and I asked the prime minister some questions about a businessman. I just asked him, Mr. Narendra Modi, please explain your relationship with Mr. Adani. I kept asking, that simple question. In my speech in parliament, I used media reports to show that Mr. Adani, who was number 609th on the list of wealthiest people in the world, became number two. And I gave examples of how the prime minister himself had facilitated this growth. How the relationship the military, the defense relationship between Israel and India was completely transformed to help Mr. Adani. I showed how the rules of Indian airports were changed to help Mr. Adani. I showed how foreign policy was used to help Mr. Adani. And I asked a simple question. What is your relationship with this man? Prime Minister has not answered that question. And for the first time you saw that the government itself is not letting parliament run. Ministers of the BJP lied about me in the House. The law in Parliament, the rule in Parliament is that if anybody says anything about a Parliament member, that Parliament member has the right to reply. I went to the Speaker with the rule. And I said, Speaker, sir, they have lied about me 
under rule under this rule i should be allowed to speak i wrote him two letters and then eventually i went to his office and i said speaker sir why are you doing this he says i have no choice you come and drink some tea with me and then i will explain it to you so the entire parliament house was shut i was not allowed to reply and then at the end of it because the government is very uncomfortable about the type of questions that i ask about the issues that i raise i'm removed from parliament doesn't matter this is the biggest gift that they could have given me because i have to tell you how do i know that what i am doing is correct i know that if the bjp is taking away my house is disqualifying me from parliament is attacking me 24 hours i know that i am doing the right thing and the more they attack me the more i know that this is exactly the path on which i have to walk and i am not going to stop no matter what happens not for myself but because of my relationship with you and my relationship with the rest of the people of india in the end i'd like to repeat my disqualification does not mean anything as far as my relationship with you is concerned i promise you this disqualification will only deepen my relationship with you because my relationship with you is one of a family is one of a brother is one of a son and that is not going to change i'd also like to thank all the leaders from the congress party from the udf all our workers for the immense support love and affection that you have given me and you know as far as the people of vinad are concerned it does not matter which political formation you are part of whether you are udf or you are ldf i know that you have a relationship with me a relationship of affection a loving relationship and that is what i intend to deepen thank you very much namaskar